Smurf, come here. You could record yourself. My name is Emmanuel. I'm nine, and I'm a superstar. A fascinating new documentary spans over 20 years and follows one family story of struggle in Washington, D.C. 17 blocks refers to the distance between the home that the family lives in and the U.S. Capitol. Joining me this afternoon to talk more about this documentary is director and producer of 17 Blocks. We have Davey Rothbart joining us live. First of all, Davey, good afternoon. I'm glad you're here. No, oh, thank you for having me. You met this family on a basketball court when you were in your early 20s. How did this meeting take place? You know, basketball is, is a great game. You can make friendships for life on a court. And I, I met Smurf. He was 15. His brother Emmanuel was nine. We hit it off. They, they invited me one day back to their house for dinner. Uh, I got to meet their mom and their sister and, and started going there every night. Um, the, the family likes to say that, that they adopted me which is really how it felt, because I was, I was far from home for the first time and uh, in need of some family. So this family really took me in. How did you convince this family to document their lives, not for a week or a month, but 20 years? There was no plan starting out to, to film for 20 years. You know, I had just got my first video camera. I was interested in filmmaking, and I was learning how to use the camera. And so the kids, you know, they were 9, 12, 15 years old at the time. They learned with me. So we just would interview each other at home. We would, it was essentially home videos for 10 years. Uh, we became very close, but everything changed when a member of the family was, was killed in, in, a, in a shooting in their neighborhood, uh, which is something so common in this neighborhood that is just 17 blocks, like the title of the film, you know, it's just 17 blocks behind the U.S. Capitol building. Everything changed for this family, and as you mentioned before, sadly, this was not uncommon to their neighborhood. Emmanuel, who you met when he was only nine, David, he appeared to be the member of the family whose life was really on solid ground. He, he, he really was, you know, he was a great student, um, very straight, kind of a straight arrow. He was training to be a firefighter and he was engaged to be married. So it was, I mean, any, any loss of life is, is tragic, but, um, you know, it, it was absolutely heartbreaking. Uh, his trajectory seemed so positive, but that's, that's the nature of gun violence in neighborhoods like Southeast DC. Um, any, anyone can become a victim. And, and it was at that time that Cheryl, the mother, uh, uh, Emmanuel's mother said, she, she recognized, you know, this is, this is an opportunity um, be, because for people who don't live in neighborhoods like this, it's, it's hard to really wrap your head around the kind of gun violence that happens so routinely. She said, but this is different because Emmanuel has been filmed since he was nine years old. We've all been filming each other. We have all this footage. Maybe we can finally share a story of a kid who, who falls victim to a crime like this but you know, tracing him from boyhood all the way into adulthood. Yeah. Uh, what was sort of the light bulb moment for you, Davey, when you look at the plight that some of these inner city families are dealing with? What can we learn from this film? Yeah, you know, I mean, and the Sanford family shows great courage and resilience, um, but the, the deck is really stacked against people that live in neighborhoods like this. And, and gun violence is just a symptom. You know, there's, there's unjust sentencing laws that throw people in prison for a long time. There's the schools are underfunded, recreation programs are underfunded. So, so you know, the, the, the film, although it's really centered on this family's life, um, there, there is a bit of a political challenge, you know, to the people in power sure. 17 blocks away in the Capitol building to pay attention to neighborhoods like this that just uh, don't get the love that they need. Well, I hope that this film not only sparks conversation, but more importantly, sparks change. Davey Rothbart, again, the film is called 17 Blocks, and we appreciate your time. Hey, thanks so much for having me on. Thank you.